Welcome back to the Delta 5 Race Timer Series. This is part two. Here we'll, I will go over programming the Arduino Nanos and a rough assembly of the timer. Okay, so next step is flashing the uh, Arduino Nanos. And we're going to need one of these old uh, micro USB cables. If you have a Tyrannus, I'm sure you have one of these laying around. It'll probably be all bent with a hook off to the side because <clears throat> these get damaged pretty easy. Now, something to note about these Arduino Nanos is these are all clones. They're dirt, dirt cheap. They're like three bucks a piece. Whereas a genuine Arduino Nano is about 20 to $25 a piece. So there is a chance that you're going to get a bad one out of the box. And most likely, if anything, out of this entire program, this project's going to fail, it's going to be these guys. Because, well, you know, they're three bucks. What do you expect? So here's two Arduino Nanos. Neither one of them has been flashed. When I plug this one in, they should come pre-flashed with a bootloader and the Blink program. See how that LED is blinking? Well, this one, this one here, when you plug it in, turns on, stays on. And I cannot flash a, uh, I can't flash anything to this one. This one has no bootloader on it or something's wrong with it. Either way, I cannot try to, I cannot figure out how to get this one to work again. And I've tried, I've spent probably a couple hours trying to get this thing to work. Um, yeah, it's junk. Uh, I'm, I'm done messing with it. Luckily, I bought these from Amazon, uh, from a prime vendor, and they're pretty good about taking care of their people. So that's why I really suggest buying extras. Um, if anything, eh, one for later to mess with, or if you have a bad one out of the box, then you can, uh, you can fix it that way. All right, so <clears throat> first thing we need to do is we've got our Arduino Nanos installed. You need to figure out how you want to note, mark these things. Um, pretty, pretty conventional uh, node one, two, three, four. That's how I'm going to do it across the board. Pretty simple. Uh, we're not going to hook this up yet. First thing we need to do is we need to go over to the computer. And the first thing we need to do is download the, uh, the Arduino IDE uh, software. And you can see that right here. Um, you can do the Windows installer, you can do it through the App Store. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I believe it needs to be at least Arduino 1.8.0 or newer. So I'm just going to get it from the App Store and go ahead and install that like you would for your computer. If you're using Mac, Linux, there's, there's options here. All right. So once we have that downloaded and installed, next thing we need to do is, is go to the uh, GitHub for the Delta 5 race timer. And we're going to need to uh, go to clone and download and download zip. Wait for that to download. And go ahead and extract that to uh, a, a folder of your choosing. Now we have our Delta 5 timer here. This is all our all the information we need. Now um, go into that, go to uh, SRC and Delta 5 node, and then you're going to have this INO file. Go ahead and open that. That should open up with the uh, Arduino IDE software. So here we go. We have this script written out. And the part we need to pay attention to is this right here. So we can use up to eight nodes, but each node needs its own uh, identifier. So node one is identifier eight, two is 10, three is 12, four is 14, and so on. And what you need to do is you need to change this number here, change the address. So I'm gonna flash node one. So I can just leave this the way it is. Go ahead and connect your Node 1 Arduino. 
And a few things are gonna happen here. If you've never messed with COM ports or Arduinos or anything like that, you're gonna need to probably go into your device manager, come down to your, go into device manager, come down to your ports and see what comes up right here. Um, so we're on COM3. That's what popped up when I plugged in the Arduino. So we know our COM port is three. Come back to the IDE software, go to tools, go to port and select your, the right COM port. For me, it's COM3. For you, it might be different. I'm gonna change our board to Arduino Nano. And our processor, at least for these Arduinos I have, is the uh, AT Mega 328P old bootloader. Okay, once you select that, uh, click verify. This should be real quick. It should come back with no errors. And go ahead and press upload. And you should see some lights flash on the Arduino. Okay, that didn't work. And I know exactly why. See what happens is when I plugged in the Arduino, my computer automatically designated it as ramps. Um, that is not the right firmware, or not the right, they identify as ramps and that's not the right driver for the Arduinos. So go ahead and click on driver, click on update driver, browse my computer for driver software, and then this box down here says, let me pick from a list of available drivers. And we're gonna change it to USB serial CH340. Press next. And close, close, and we're still on COM3. And we can go over here and press upload. See my lights are flashing. And that's it. This first board is done. Let's move over to the second one. So we're on board number two. Remember, we need to come back here and change which node we're on. So for node two, the address is 10. So we'll go ahead and change that to a 10. Once again, press upload. It'll go ahead and compile and then upload right there. Uploading done. Rolling on through, moving on to the third one. So node three, Address is going to be 12. And for number four, address is 14. And that's it. That's probably the hardest part of dealing with the nanos is figuring out the uh, the drivers and how to flash them with the Arduino software. Um, different Arduino nanos may be different, but for the ones I'm using, that's the process and it seems to work out all right. If you go to do this and this isn't working, try a different Arduino. If that one doesn't work, Try another one. If that one doesn't work, it's probably something wrong with your drivers or the way you're setting up your uh, your ports and your board in the Arduino IDE software. Okay, next, we're gonna move on to the Raspberry Pi. Now that we have all our nanos flashed, remember we're gonna number these one, two, three, and four, and they correspond with the address that we flashed them to, and one, two, three, four. Uh, now it's time that we connect our uh, our PCB to our Raspberry Pi. Um, now, if you look at the pin header on this side, this is where we're gonna be making our connections. And the way these are uh, numbered is this one here will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. And another way to, to tell if you're ever lost is which pin is one, it's gonna be this guy right here that's square. It's got the square solder pad rather than the round 
So one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. And then on our PCB here, we're going to make our connections to the SCL, SDA, ground, and five volts. And you can use uh, either side of the board depending on your layout, or if you have multiple boards, you'll just daisy chain um, your first board, your second board. So uh, go ahead and make our power and ground connections. You can connect these whatever way you want. Uh, I'm choosing to use these, uh, these individual servo style uh, jumper wires. I don't really know what they're called, but they work pretty good for this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from pin four. So this is pin two and pin four right here. Go from pin four to the five volt pad right here, like so. Ground, it's gonna be pad pin six, right there. And we're gonna go to ground. And next we're gonna do the SDA pad, which is gonna be pin three on our Raspberry Pi. And that's gonna go to here, where it says SDA. And last is going to be the SCL pad, and it's going to be it's going to be the SCL wire. We're going to go from pin five on our Raspberry Pi to here. One that says SCL, and that is all our wired connections. So now the Raspberry Pi will be powered from the five volt Palulu and your communication wires will be here. This is, uh, this is just the basic setup here. Okay, now it's time for the fun part and that is getting this guy going. 